What if you could build internal tools and apps for you or your company with or without typing code? In today's video, I'm going to present you five no-code and low-code app builders that you can use to build internal tools and apps for you or your company in a visual way so you can work faster and more efficiently as well. Hi. I'm Caio Calderari from AutomationHelpers.com. We help companies like yours get automated and grow by using industry-leading tools to build apps, portals, integrations, and much more. Subscribe if you want to leverage tech to help your business grow. All right, let's now talk about the no-code and low-code app builders you can use to build amazing internal projects for you or your company. The first one on the list is called Stacker. The website is stackerhq.com. Stacker makes it easy to build custom CRMs, internal tools, customer portals, and other business applications for you or for your team. With Stacker, you can build your applications in a visual way by using pre-made blocks and components. So the entire process will take only a few minutes or days and not months or years. You can use Stacker to connect multiple data sources into one single place. For instance, you can use Stacker to connect with Airtable, Google Sheets, Salesforce, allowing you to consolidate data into one single interface. With Stacker, you can create custom and tailored solutions for your team to streamline your workflows, manage customer data, and automate tasks without using code. This tool is ideal for startups, for business teams and companies looking for a way to organize and centralize information in a single customized platform for your team. With Stacker Work OS, you can integrate your workflows in one single place. You can also use the Stacker CRM, which is flexible and allows you to customize it to your specific needs. You can also use Stacker portals to create login areas and memberships as well for your customers, for your partners, contractors, or even for your internal team. It is a complete platform to power your operations with a digital workspace, data, an app builder that is completely visual. You can also create external portals and customize the entire interface with your brand colors and your visual identity, your branding and logo. And of course, you can also automate and integrate external services and automation tools to create automation inside your application. Inside Stacker, you can build a lot of different pages with different templates and layouts such as Kanban views, tables, and cards as well. You can manage who can access each area or page inside your internal application. So you have role-based user permissions you can configure to define who is going to visualize what, giving you a lot of flexibility and control. You also have embeddable views and extra capabilities with API integrations. It has a very flexible database. You can configure which type of information you are going to show, how the layout will look like. You have a flexible database schema. You also have linked records and you can even use formulas to display information in a specific way. It is all visual and no code and as simple as using a Google spreadsheet, but with a lot more control and better design. Inside your platform, your team can work together and collaborate on everything that is going on. The design looks good out of the box. So if you're looking for a solution to build internal apps for you or your team, take a look at Stacker. Moving on to the next one on the list, this tool is called Retool. The website is retool.com. Retool is a low-code platform, meaning you can build things visually, but you can also use code if you need to. It's a more developer-focused platform that simplifies building internal tools and backend applications by combining drag and drop with coding capabilities. It's designed to speed up app development by allowing teams to create dynamic data-driven applications while integrating seamlessly with databases and APIs. Retool has an area where you can build your applications visually. It also has workflows that allow you to create more complex logic and even use code to power each step. 
You also work with an internal database. And of course, you can import external data to your database or connect to other third party databases. And you can also build a mobile version of your application in a visual way. You can connect Retool with more than 15 different types of databases such as Postgres, MySQL, MongoDB, and many more. You can, of course, use API integrations to explore different types of services and build a lot of different types of complex applications using these services via API. And of course, you can leverage powerful and popular SaaS applications such as Stripe, connected to Jira, Salesforce, Slack, Shopify, and many more. In terms of design, Retool will offer a lot of React components ready to use so you can build faster in a visual way using React under the hood. Retool is perfect for startups, for small businesses, and even big companies looking to build scalable applications. You can create customized internal applications, replace outdated systems, and automate your operations quickly without needing extensive engineering resources. Since Retool is a little bit more local than no code, you can use code inside the builder. You can use SQL, JavaScript, Python, and other languages as well. You have features to help you debug your application. You have built-in features to review your application as you're developing it with your team. And once you're ready, you can use Retool to deploy your application. Retool also allows you to self-host your application on your own servers if you wish to, so you are free to choose which hosting service you're going to use at the end. You can connect it to a lot of different types of services using APIs, and you can also build AI tools using this platform. It also features an AI co-pilot that will help you as you build your application. That can be very helpful. It also has role-based access control. It also has a workflow builder that you can build logic for your applications and even AI built-in to help you while building these workflows. Now, because it's a little bit more low-code, Retool is going to be a little bit more complex if you are just a beginner and if you don't know how to use code. But if you do know how to use code, it could be a nice tool for you to use. By the way, if you need help building a project, or if you have any questions, we are here to assist. Visit our website at automationhelpers.com. We are offering free 30-minute consultation calls with our experts. I'm sure they will be able to help you get your project done. The link's down below. Make sure to book your call today. The next tool I want to show you today is called AppSmith. The website is AppSmith.com. Com. It is also a low-code app builder that you can use to build more complex types of applications for your company. AppSmith is an open-source platform for building internal tools. You can build business applications, dashboards, without typing a lot of code, although you can type code if you wish to. You can use its drag-and-drop visual interface to build apps in a simpler and faster way. You can use widgets, API integrations, you can connect it to a lot of different data sources, and it's ideal for companies seeking an agile way to build internal tools. With AppSmith, you can build, deploy, and maintain custom software more quickly and efficiently with a low-code platform. You can build support apps, AI apps, IT apps, and even apps integrated with Salesforce. You can connect it to a lot of different database sources and build everything in a visual way using pre-built components to help you speed up your development process. And if you know how to code, you can use a lot of different code languages to build even more complex types of applications. You can use JavaScript or import and use external existing JavaScript libraries if you wish to. You can manage variables, functions, and logic, and even use GitHub to collaborate and manage your app versions. AppSmith is very secure out of the box, and it provides you with an option to self-host your application. You also have role-based access controls to define who is going to access which area of your application. So this is perfect for companies and teams. You also have access to workflows to build logic for your applications that you can even write JavaScript code in one of the existing workflow steps. You can connect to database sources and it also offers a human in the loop 
feature that allows you to add a person in the middle of an automation process. AppSmith also offers a lot of templates that you can use to speed up your development process so you can start from a template instead of creating everything from scratch. Since AppSmith is an open source platform, you can use their cloud version or you can self-host it yourself if you wish to. So if you liked AppSmith, make sure to visit their website to check more information about it. Now, before we move on to the next tool, let me know in the comment section down below which types of videos you want to see here next. I really appreciate your feedback. The next tool I want to show you today is called AppSheet. It's from Google and the website is appsheet.com. AppSheet is a no-code platform that allows you to build mobile and web applications in a visual way directly using data sources such as Google Sheets, Excel spreadsheets, and also SQL. With AppSheet, you can create a lot of different types of projects such as a project management tool, an inventory tracking system, a customer engagement app, and all that without coding skills. So you can build applications specifically for your team operations and needs. And the good part, it's very simple and easy to use and to learn as well. You can now use AI to help you build this type of application so you can tell AppSheet what you want to build and it will help you set up your application using the power of AI. You can create apps specifically for your work environment, meaning apps that will be used on the field or by your team. This allows you to automate your workflows and digitalize areas of your company that may be still using paper. And of course, you can integrate information from various types of services into a single platform. Since it's created by Google, it's very reliable and secure as well. If you don't know what to build or don't want to start from scratch, you can also leverage existing templates to build a wide variety of applications, saving you a bunch of time while building your custom internal applications. You can start building your application by using existing data from Google Sheets or an Excel spreadsheet. And then in a visual way, you're going to connect this database to your app sheet account, you're going to build this application in no time using pre-made components and assets that will help you build this in a visual way without typing code. AppSheet also provides offline functionality, meaning you can access parts of your application even without internet connection, which can be very helpful in some situations. If you already like using Google's services, I'm sure you will also like using this application. So make sure to check App Sheet and give it a try. Are you enjoying this content so far? If so, click the like button down below. Now, if you want to keep learning more about automation and tech, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more content like this. The next internal no code app builder that I want to show you is called BuddyBase. The website is buddybase.com. BuddyBase is an open source platform that is very customizable and will allow you to build a lot of different types of internal tools. You can have a lot of flexibility while building it and also host it on your own server if you wish to. You can create management apps, portals, approval flows, forms, and even admin panels. It can connect with a lot of different data sources from scratch. You can use Google Sheets, Postgres, Firebase, MongoDB, SQL, and many other database sources to power your application. It also connects with REST API, and you can even import a CSV file to use as your database for your app. You can design your application in a visual way using pre-built components and also create workflows and automations out of the box. You can also integrate your existing application with Zapier, Make and other tools as well, allowing you to build even more powerful and complex types of applications. BuddyBase is good for businesses and teams needing to create internal tools, customer portals, employee management tools and systems, and other administrative and stakeholder apps with ease and flexibility. You can also build enterprise level applications that will scale over time. You can deploy your application to your own server and use your own infrastructure or use the cloud version. You can use different types of authentication methods and even use plugins to extend your app 
functionalities. Bodybase also offer a lot of different templates so you can use them to start your next project. You can come to their website and find different types of projects to give you ideas or to even save time while you're building your next project. Like I've mentioned, it can integrate with a lot of different types of services and applications, making it very powerful to build your next internal tool. You can manage your internal database, collecting data, and organizing your workflows with automation and logic built in. You can also send notifications, integrate with webhooks, and also leverage AI models to build applications that will have some sort of AI-related feature. Bodybase can allow you to build portals in just minutes and have your team working on an organized environment with your database source and a very nice and beautiful user interface. So if you're looking for an open source internal tool to build your next project, make sure to check BuddyBase. All right, these are the five no-code and low-code app builders you can use to build internal tools for you or your company. Now tell me, which ones did you like the most? And which one are you going to use on your next project? Let me know in the comment section down below. Now, if you want to keep learning more about tech and automation, we have much more content for you here on the channel. So if you want to keep learning, dive deeper into the videos we have here just for you. Make sure to watch this video next. Thanks for watching and I catch you on the next one. Let's automate your business.